Hey guys, I'm back. <clears throat> um, and today we are going to be building a password door with pistons and all that great stuff. First up, you're going to need a five by three uh, long and tall area. So five and three. Now you're going to need to put down a bunch of levers. Because only one of these levers are going to make it work. You know what? Do this. I know one of them is going to mess up one day. And because it's a little too small. So yeah. that's a complicated looking little one. But you have any idea how it works? Yeah. Try it. Well, these are the little things. One for most corners. Now. Two blocks away from it, you are going to need some pistons, then some that. Please move up. I don't want to burn you like I did last episode with that giant roll away. And where has it gone? In the background of the video, you saw these two guys, right? Oh, yeah, that's the test that was successful. Now, there's going to be freedom because, well, each one unlocks a certain part of it. You can only get in when all freedom are done. Oh, wrong way. That was going to... Now, let's say you want to unlock it. Here. Okay, next. Well. Uh. Oh, this will work. Now, this one may be just more simpler. There, perfect. You just got to want to make it look a little bit more complicated. There. Now, you're going to need a code if you want to get it. Code is so far? Um, that's a weird code. But it works. It works. It works. So far, two of them. Now, you can mix this up however you want, but you just need to make sure that these, you have to just put these behind the levers the redstone torches and just make a pathway of redstone connecting to wherever you want it and if you flip the lever on the other side turns it off and it unlocks what you want that's basically how you do it just to those who might not have known yet or just don't know at all Let's say, what is the password? I want to get into this guy's house so I can steal everything he owns. But how? How do I get into this guy's house? All he has is just a bunch of levers as to, oh wait, no. This is a password door. I don't want to see if I know it. I do something? No. See guys? It works. It's a shorter video, just saying. Now, all you need to do at the end is cover up all the redstone and you should be good to go. And just make a massive area to keep all your redstone hidden. Because people just destroy it all and it'll be unlocked and they can just walk on it and so 
you might want to cover some of it up. At least just the ones that are able to be get into really easily. Maybe the ones that are pie. Well, it's a, it's by choice that those ones. I'm not gonna make you, but in fact, I actually have no idea who's watching this right now. But whoever it is, you gotta keep building on and make your creations massive and awesome. And if you don't use redstone, I think you should use redstone. Whoever you are, it's it's just it's just a really good thing. You'll be impressed with your creations. In fact, I might be making an even simpler way to do my redstone videos, but it wouldn't have any voice in it. So, yeah, we are going to just take a little break. I'm going to build onto it a little bit more, and yeah, we're going to resume. And that is how to build the locked house, password house. But don't worry me off, but that's the technology behind it. Just to let you know. Now, I'm going to drop. Open one card up. Oh, yeah. Put two up. Put three up. Oh, no, no, no. You can put whatever you want, like block it or put some iron doors. Or... Yeah, for now, goodbye! <laughs>